Hi there, this is Charlie and in this video I'm going to be talking about Pinterest and how you can add a pin it to Pinterest button to your Firefox and your Chrome browsers. Now Pinterest is the latest social network, I guess you could call it a social network and I'm absolutely adoring it because it's so visual. You actually pin a picture to a board on Pinterest and your community gets to share in that and see what you're pinning. Now this is not only great for sharing stuff but you know it's great if you want to have a vision board. Uh, I've been using it to keep track of things that I might like as gifts and sharing that board with my family so when my family says but we don't know what to get you mum they've got something they can go back to and have a look and I noticed the other day my husband's doing a similar thing he's actually created a gift board on Pinterest so he can keep track of things he's seen that he thought was cool and when someone says what can we get you he can go back and say well have a look at this stuff here here's some stuff here for you so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm actually going to show you how you can add the bookmarklet to your Firefox bookmarks and how you can use it. Then in my next video I'm going to show you how you can do that with Chrome as well. So the first thing you need to do is log into your Pinterest account like I have here and when you do you'll get your Pinterest um, page up. The, the main page. Once you've logged in I want you to go up to the about menu which is at the top right hand corner of the screen right next to your name and your picture and click on just mouse over the about link and then click on the pin it button. Click on that. Now when you do this is going to take you to the goodies page and the goodies page tells you about the iPhone app. Uh, you can scroll up and it shows you how you can install. See so if I can scroll right to the top it shows you the pin it button and it shows you how you can install the pin it button in Firefox. Now one of the things you need to do is click on it says here click view toolbars bookmarks toolbar. Now that's all very good and well if you've actually got um, a view button. Now one of the ways you can get the view button or the view menu to show is to press the alt key and you'll see that uh, it drops it, it drops down a menu right next to your Firefox button or Firefox menu on the left and click on view and then you can click on toolbars and then you can check the bookmarks toolbar. So if you check that you'll then see that you get your bookmarks toolbar showing. Now I'm just going to go and hide that because I've got another way that's a little quicker for you. Instead of going to the view, um, most of you will have on the right hand side of your Firefox address bar, so the address bar where you put your, your website URL. Um, I've got Google search enabled so I've got Google search up. If you keep going across you've got a picture of a house which is your home tab and then you've got a picture of a star and it's in a page or a doorway or something. When you mouse over it, it says display your bookmarks. If you just click on the little arrow that's just to the right hand side of the star, you'll see you've got view bookmarks toolbar. Click on that and your toolbar will appear. So that's a bit of a quicker way rather than trying to find the view menu which may or may not appear on your Firefox browser depending on what version you're running. So the next thing you need to do is to drag the pin it button. That's what step two says, drag the pin it button to your bookmarks toolbar. Uh, so what we like to do, what I like to do is when they say the pin it button, I'm mousing over it now, you should see it on your screen. It's, it's the one that says pin it and to the right hand side there's an arrow and it says add this link to your bookmarks toolbar. All you need to do is, you see when I mouse over it my cursor becomes a four headed arrow. When it does, hold down your left mouse button and drag that up into your bookmarks toolbar and I don't know if you can see it on the screen but there's now um, a, a, a blue arrow that's pointing down with a dotted line and if I drag and drop it just let my left mouse button go you'll see now that I've got I've got pin it in my toolbar so now that's in my bookmarks toolbar now I don't want I certainly don't want to have my bookmarks toolbar showing all the time while I'm in Firefox so I'm going to go to the right here where it says bookmarks on the far right hand corner click on it and I'm just going to uncheck the view bookmarks toolbar and you'll see now that it's gone back to the little star in the doorway in the, in the same line as my website URL. 
how about I show you how to use that now because this is really cool so I'm going to go to one of my favorite sites to um, find cool images to look at and this is web shots a bit corny I know but I think some of the photography that comes up here is really excellent it's going to wait for that to load okay now this is a cool image and yeah you know, the reason I like web shots is if you're looking for a good image you can normally find something pretty cool I like this image this is um crayons now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on that image so that I go into it because I like to get the information for it as I go in and we have the information the image here we've got what it's called this is by one of their um, professional or one of their members one of the web shop members I just think that's an excellent image now I want to share that on one of my Pinterest boards so what I'm going to do so just here where it's got the star in the doorway um, in, in my address URL or in my address bar my URL bar I'm going to drop that down and I'm going to go to recently bookmarked and you're going to see now when I come to recently bookmarked that one it comes up with pin it right at the top of the list now I don't want my pin it one to be there I actually want it to be in that main drop down so I'm just going to hold my left mouse button down and I'm going to drag my pin it bookmark up above my paper list so now when I drop down my my bookmarks pin it appears right at the top of my list you only ever have to do that once now I want to share this image on my on one of my Pinterest pin boards so I'm going to click on pin it and you'll see that it brings up a screen and it gives me all the images that can be seen on this page now in this case there's only one image that can be seen on this page uh, and at the top it's got a cancel pin uh, URL or link so if you don't if you decide to change your mind and this isn't what you want to pin you can click on cancel pin to get out of this otherwise if you mouse over the image that's there that you want to to pin to a pin board you'll see you get a pin this button up here if you just click on that and then it drops you into your Pinterest interface it says books to read and that's not the pin board that I want to use so I'm going to drop that down and I'm going to find you see I've got a lot of boards that I share to photos and then because I want to actually label this and put a description on I'm going to drag it down so I can actually see the description here at the top of the screen and just share that and then I'm going to click on the pin it button now before I click on the pin it button you can share this to Twitter and I've also set my Pinterest account up to automatically share to Facebook so it's not going to give me the share to Facebook option um, but if I want this to go out onto Twitter I can just click on the link and then I'll click to pin it and it tells me that I've successfully pinned this to my Pinterest board now I can go and look at it but I'm going to close that down I'm going to nip back into my Pinterest account and I'm going to go to oops just clicked on my profile and then if I go down and find my photos board like I said I share a fair amount of stuff through um, Pinterest and I click on my photos board here there's my new image showing me showing up automatically and you know here's all the sorts of photos that I'm sharing on my photo board and my community gets to see those so that's it that's how you can add a pin it to Pinterest a bookmarklet to your Firefox browser and then use that to share information with your community via Pinterest I hope this has been helpful bye